To balance this neutralization reaction, we have nitric acid plus lead hydroxide. This is an acid in a base. It's a neutralization reaction. Let's count the atoms up on each side, and we'll use a little bit of a trick to make it easier. So we have one hydrogen, plus we have the two times the one here. So we have two more. That gives us three hydrogens. And then this NO3 group, we have NO3 here, and we have it here. It's called the nitrate ion. We're going to count that as just one item, and that'll make the balancing easier. So we have one NO3, we have one Pb, and then oxygens, we have one times two, that gives us two oxygens. And we don't count these oxygens because we already counted them. On the product side, we have the two hydrogens, we have one nitrate times two, so we have two of those, one lead, and then one oxygen. So let's balance the equation. We'll leave these hydrogens until last. We have an odd number here. So let's start with the nitrates. So we could just put a two in front of the HNO3. So we'd have one nitrate here times two. That would give us two. So those are balanced and we need to update the hydrogens. We have one times two, two hydrogens, plus one times the two that gives us a total of four hydrogen. So that's an even number, which is helpful because we can come over here on this side and put a two in front of the H2O. Two times two, that gives us four. And for the oxygens, we have one times the two. That gives us two. In this equation, it's balanced. So you can see if we count this nitrate group as just one item, because we have it here, and we have it here, it does make the balancing easier. And with these double displacement reactions, in this case, a neutralization reaction, it can be quite helpful. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HNO3 plus PbOH2, nitric acid and lead to hydroxide. Thanks for watching.